Sam Ignat to Shrine of Us, Sam for tonight's video will be tackling about the module 2 which is the perimeter barriers so I hope that you listen carefully because this topic is an interesting topic and we we can learn more about um, security measures so we have here the concepts we have five concepts first we have the concept of perimeter barriers second is the line of physical defense third is the perimeter barrier openings fourth is the additional protective measures and last three is the perimeter guard So first, we, we will tackle first the concept of perimeter barriers. So, perimeter barrier is a medium of structure which defines the physical limits of an installation or area to restrict or impede access there to. It is a physical barrier used to supplement the protection of an inside or outside perimeter. So when you say barrier, um, it is more likely kung sa Tagalog is harang, harang or um, um, in this in vernacular it's salipud. So um, perimeter barrier also includes the utilization of security personnel. Next, we have here the line of physical defense. So the second concept, line of physical defense. So this is the security managers and security personnel also considered the various lines of defense that could help delay or stop intruders. So we have three types or kinds of line of physical defense. First, we have the first line. So it includes all perimeter barriers. Next is the second line, which also includes the building exterior. And the last one is the third line. So it also includes those internal control measures. So next is we have the perimeter barrier openings. So it is in determining the appropriate perimeter barriers. Security managers should not overlook the necessity of monitoring perimeter openings that could be used by intruders so this opening are first we have the gates and doors should be guarded or locked as much as possible so it is necessary to lock our doors every time kahit na may tao sa loob especially kung wala because this is the time kung walang tao sa bahay this is the time where intruders will make use of it para mapasok nila na walang um, walang pahirap na pagpasok sa bahay so, so kung meron namang tao sa bahay we should lock pa din because malay natin malingat tayo sa door hindi natin mamalay ang may nakapasok na pala so um, we must secure, lock our gates and doors. Next, we have the windows and similar openings should also be guarded or grills should be installed so as not to be used by intruders. So windows and openings less than 18 feet above the ground 
roofs and ledges are less than 40 feet directly or diagonally opposite uncontrolled windows in other walls, fire escapes, or other openings of 96 square inches or large, larger should be grilled or have steel bar protections. So, yung design natin sa windows is um, 18 feet above the ground sa roof and sa ledges or less than 14 feet down directly or diagonally opposite. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yung windows natin is kailangan daw na naka-grills or may yeah, naka-grills. Sorry. So, para uh, na maprotektahan na I mean, yung windows kasi is one of the way to enter a house so we need to put a grills para hindi ganun kadali mapasok most uh, specifically kapag grills lang yung I mean not grills um, jealousy jealousy yung type ng window ninyo kasi pwede lang yan ma ma twist sa kilid sa gilid tapos makuha yung mga blades tsaka freely na mag enter yung intruder sa bahay niyo And next, we have here the sidewalks. Elevators are elevated parts of the land near the perimeter barrier that provides access to areas within the perimeter barriers and should be locked and guarded. Fourth, we have the utilities opening such as sewers, air intakes, exhaust tunnels, which penetrate the barriers and which have cross-section area of 96 square inches or more should be protected by bars, grills, and etc. If we have here the clear zone, so it is an unobstructed area maintained on both sides of the perimeter barrier. The clear zone of 20 feet or more is desirable between the barrier and extension structures, excuse me, excuse me, and natural covers which may provide concealment or assistance to a person seeking an authorized entry. So where it is possible to have clear zones because of property lives or natural features can increment in the height of the fencing, increase guard coverage, more security lightings, or the use of intrusion device in the portion of the perimeter barrier should be done. So under the clear zone, we have two. One is a clear zone of 20 feet or more should exist between the perimeter barriers and exterior structures, parking areas, and natural or manual features. Second one is a clear zone of 50 feet or more should exist between the perimeter barrier and structures within the protected areas, except when a building wall constitutes part of the perimeter barrier. We have here, next we have here the types of perimeter barriers. First we have the fences. So, Fences are independent structures designed to control physical and visual access between outside areas. So, in vernacular, fence, fences in vernacular we call a coral or padel. So, it could either be um, kahoy concrete na cemento or wires and other forms of fences na pwede na gamit. So basically, um, it just separates the outside and the inside of your home sa bakura ninyo. So, 
yung concrete man. Mas, much better yung concrete kasi hindi nakakita ng outsider kung ano ang nasa loob ng bahay. Next, under fences, we have solid fence. So, it is made of an opaque material in such a way that visual access through the fence structure is denied. Solid fences are constructed with heavy materials such as bricks, stones, and concrete and usually extended down into the ground to a point view below the first line. So, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo ng mga concrete ng mga fences from the word itself, solid, so solid siya. Like, hindi nakikita kung ano ang nasa loob. Hindi nakikita ng nasa labas kung ano ang nasa loob. So, uh, the advantages of solid fence, we have here too. So, first, it denies visual access of the installation to the intruder. And the second is, den it denies the intruder the opportunity to become familiar with the personal activities and the schedule of the movement of the cards. So, we have also these advantages of solid fence. So, it prevents the guards from observing the area around the installation. And it creates a shadow which may be used by the intruder for cover and concern. So, tama nga naman. May disadvantage din pala yung mga solid fences. Next, we have here, under the fences pa rin, we have full view fence. So, it is constructed in such a manner that visual access is permitted such as wire fence. Third fence, structure. It is a designed it is designed purely to control physical access between two areas. So <clears throat> kagaya lang din siya ng ko I mean um yung wire yung parang net na wires net like structure na wires na yung yung pinag uh, gagawang fence ito yung full view example of full view so the advantages of the full view is it guards are um the guards are able to keep the area surrounding the installation under observation and does not create any shadow so it also have disadvantages of full view fence so, it allows visual access to the installation and allows the intruder to get familiar with the movements and the time schedule of the guard patrols. So, disadvantage nito is ano, makikita ng intruder kung ano yung mga galawan sa nasa loob kasi it's not concrete eh. So, see through siya. Um, here we have wire fence. Oh, ito nga pala. Ah, yes, yes. Um, it is a type of fence made of chain link. Barbed wire concertina design with small opening not larger than 2 square inches and made of number 9 good wires or heavier twisted and barbed salvage at top and bottom. So, um, Meron ako ang, ah, sa pagkakakilala ko sa barbware is, meron itong parang throne, ay tusok-tusok, make something like that. So the specifications for using chain like fences, we have, um, seven. First, it, ha it must be constructed of 7 feet material excluding top guard. Next, it must be 9 huge, huge or heavier. Mesh openings are not to be larger than 2 inches per slide. Per side, I mean. It should be twisted and barbed salvage at top bottom. 
It should be security fastened to rigid metal or reinforced concrete. It must reach below surface enough on soft grounds to compensate for shifting soil or sand. And it must reach within 2 inches of hard ground or pouring. So we also have specifications for using barbed wire. First, its standard barbed wire is twisted, double stand 12 gauge wire with 4 point barbs spaced on equal distance apart. Next is barbed wire fencing, must be firmly affixed to post high excluding top guard. Next is barbed wire fencing, should not be less than 7 feet high excluding top guard. And the last is the distance between strands will not exceed 6 inches and midway between parts. So using sir, concertina wire fence, concertina wire fence, it is fences that are formed like accordions. So, the second one, under the types of perimeter barriers, is the building walls includes walls, floor, roofs, roofs, or their combinations serve also as barriers and they should be of such constructions to provide uniform project protection just like wire fencing. Next is the bodies, I mean, correction pala. <laughs> Concrete is not an example of wire fencing. Ako pala yung mali. <laughs> so yung concrete concrete wall dito siya napasali sa building walls so moving forward we have bodies of water like river, lake, cataract, sea, pond or any bodies of water forming part of the wall building or fencing should not be considered an adequate perimeter barrier additional security measures like wire fence Concrete walling, security patrolling, and flood lighting at night may be necessary for the portions of the perimeter. So next, so we have here the additional protection measures. So it says that top guard is an additional overhang of barbed wire placed on vertical perimeter fences facing upward and outward with a 45 degree angle with three to four strands of barbed wires spaced six inches apart. This will increase the protective height and prevent easy access. Next, we have the additional protective measures. So, I mean, Kasali pala. Continue pala to. So, second is the guard control stations are normally provided at main perimeter entrance to secure areas located out of the doors and manned by guards on a full-time basis. So, sentry stations should be near a perimeter for surveillance at the entrance. Third, as towers or guard towers are house-like structures above the perimeter barriers, it gives a psychological effect to violators. So, um, nakakita naman siguro tayo ng guardhouse na tower-like yung nasa taas ng mga guards. Especially sa mga movies, meron silang ganito. For, so forth, we have signs and notices or control signs should be erected where necessary in the management of an authorized ingress and preclude accidental entry. It includes entry, ID, prohibited, and exclusive area signs. Next, we have here the perimeter guards. So it states that these are also employed in augmenting the existing perimeter security or perimeter barriers of a certain establishment. So under perimeter guards, we have first here the fixed post. Post. 
So it's uh, security guards are assigned in a particular place of the compound to guard and watch the area surrounding. And the second is the patrol or the roving. In vernacular, sinasabi natin dito is um, roving or nagpapatrolya sa Tagalog din. So it says that in this system, the security guard is required to walk and go around regularly around the company premises. So, even regular routes in time tend to become regular in their irregularity. So, the use of a regular roving patrol is made for the economy of personnel. The economy feature is usually carried so far that even the irregular route patrol fails to serve the purposes and it is difficult for installation control personnel to determine that the roving patrol is actually carrying out its functions. Note. An important note is that a guard system that cannot be checked on is not a secured guard system. So this has a point. Okay, so um, we have here personal inspection. So this security supervision, supervisors rather, that conduct on the spot and random inspection of post and guards. Or the artificial inspection, which is done through bandit locks strategically installed around the perimeter and reporting through handled two way radio or similar communication gadget. Here we have the example of a chain link um, fence. And we have here the barbed wire. Yung nasa taas, that's barbed wire yung paikot na a circle. Then that's the house, the tower house, the tower guard house. And that's the fence. Meron din gates. So, pag ganyan yung establishment or bahay nyo, siguro naman secure na secure na yan. Tapos, merong mga guards sa taas and merong CCTV, ka, CCTV cameras. So, I guess that's the end of my slide. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this short um, discussion about our module 2 the perimeter barriers thank you so much and have a great evening